When you buy a dog, you can have all the expectations you want. But if you can't build a positive relationship, you can never predict the outcome. When you buy a dog, you have a responsibility. And that is to give the dog exactly what the dog needs. However, the overwhelming advice is that all you need to do is to be kind, gentle, patient, give your dog a loving home and make sure your dog is happy. The problem with this is that people believe that this is all they have to do. And unfortunately, this can't be further from the truth. Dogs are animals. They live by their own rules. And a basic understanding of those rules is of paramount importance if you wish to own a dog. However, the beauty of dogs is that we can teach them to live by our rules, something people have been doing for thousands of years. If you understand this simple principle, you'll have few problems in your relationship with your dog. The problem as I see it is that a great many people don't actually understand what a dog is and how it learns. And it's becoming increasingly popular to infantilize, humanize and anthropomorphize dog behavior. This inappropriate approach to dog ownership has been fully explained by all the major dog training and behavioral organizations for decades. Yet people still think this is the correct approach. Why is it so difficult for people to understand that dogs need rules to live by? We live in a society that is governed by rules. If we didn't have rules or laws, then very quickly society, as we know it, would collapse into anarchy. If we accept that humans need rules, then why is it so difficult to accept that dogs need rules? If you bring your dog into your home and decide your approach will be lots of unstructured and unwarranted love and affection with absolutely no boundaries and limitations on your dog's behavior, it's an absolute certainty that you'll experience some behavioral issues with your dog at some point in the future. People experience problems with their dogs because they can't communicate with their dog at a level their dog understands. Dogs neither speak or understand any language. Their method of communication is based on visible recognition of visual signals. Problems will also arise if you don't have an appropriate relationship with your dog. And this takes time, work and commitment. If you don't have the time, are not prepared to do the work or don't have the necessary commitment, you should really question why you have a dog. Dogs aren't rabbits that we keep in a hutch or birds we keep in a cage or fish we keep in a tank. Dogs need exposure. They need to be walked at least twice a day for perhaps an hour at a time. They need to see different sights, experience different sounds and explore their surroundings. They need to be taught how to engage with their owners and not left to their own devices. Many people I go and see tell me that their dog is just a member of the family. During the consultation, I usually find that the dog ne never goes out for a walk. Or if so, maybe 15 minutes around the block in the evening. Never gets to walk down country lanes, never goes to the park or to the beach. In fact, never gets to do anything. I wonder why the owners don't recognize that this is probably part of the behavioral problem I'm here to deal with. If you don't enjoy the great outdoors, don't usually go for walks or are not prepared to embark on a complete education process with your dog, then it's simple. Don't buy a dog.